Hi there, it's Nisha. Welcome back to my vegan Thanksgiving series. Today we're making sweet potato casserole, which is one of my favorite Thanksgiving dishes. It's creamy, it's got a little crunchy crumble on top, and it has all of your favorite Thanksgiving flavors. Before we get to the recipe, I just wanna ask that you please subscribe if you haven't done so already. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button right below, and when you do, a little notification bell will pop up. If you wanna get notified when I post a new video, just hit that button as well. Now, let's get to the recipe. To make the base of the sweet potato casserole, I'm using sweet potatoes, obviously. Just peel them and roughly chop into large chunks and gently boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until fork tender. I'm using an electric mixer to start mashing the cooked sweet potatoes, and then I'll add the remaining ingredients, just like you would for mashed potatoes. I'm using vegan butter, coconut cream, which is the solid portion in a can of refrigerated coconut milk, or you can buy coconut cream in a can, some vanilla extract, maple syrup, and some spices like cinnamon and nutmeg, along with salt and pepper. At this stage, you want to taste your sweet potato mixture to see if it's well balanced in flavors. This could use a little more salt and some more creaminess, so I'm going to add some more sea salt and some coconut cream and butter. These are all the ingredients you need for the crumbly topping. Maple syrup, melted coconut oil, gluten-free rolled oats, almond flour or almond meal, brown sugar, a mixture of pecans and walnuts, and a mixture of sea salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mix up all the dry ingredients for the crunchy crumble topping and then pour in the wet ingredients. Stir to combine until you have a sticky, crumbly mixture. I've lightly greased a two-quart casserole pan and I'm gonna add the sweet potato to the bottom and then I'll top it with the crumbly mixture. probably end up with some leftover crumbly topping. Make sure you save this stuff because it's so delicious. I like to serve it as a granola in the morning with some almond milk or plant-based yogurt and berries. After about 30 to 35 minutes in the oven, your topping should be golden brown and your casserole is ready to eat. If you try one of these Thanksgiving recipes or want tips on how to have a successful vegan Thanksgiving, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and stay tuned because I'll be posting my next vegan Thanksgiving recipe in just a few days.